Okay guys, uh, <clears throat> I hope and believe we back bigger and better. Session number two. So uh, here we're gonna talk about a simple thing. This is not actually a hard thing. So what I want you guys to understand is that the level of risk you dare assume, start with a small position and then build up if it works. So it means if you have a strategy, aim for small profit. During the process you'll build, it will actually automatically build up. I used to fund 1,000, now I fund more than 1,000. During the process you build up. So now what I want you guys to understand, it's a trading plan. Trading plan is one of the most important thing which a lot of people don't use in the game. So your trading plan, it actually gonna be my trading plan, but you will eventually have guys uh mics. You'll eventually have your own trading plan during the process, during the process when you go. Understand? Because this is what we're actually fighting for. A trading plan. Trading plan. So what I want you to understand that my trading plan is that first thing first, what do I do on the market? When I get to the market, when I wake, when I wake up, what is it that I do? I check, check investing.com. So on investing.com, I go to the calendar and check the triples event, which are going to affect me. If I trade anything that is paired with USD or USD or USDT or NASAN, am I advisable to hold any trade that is as NASDAQ or USDT because there's news or there's not? Because during that process, I have to come back and check the market if the market fundamentally took my direction. If not, and come up with other ideas how am i might gonna be fighting the market so you guys just enter trade and the next thing you go somewhere then when you come back maybe you blew an account because you didn't check the calendar first thing first i check investing.com check my calendar secondly if i'm about to trade nasdaq i'll check if certain companies are doing good on cnbc news app fundamentally Remember, we're still on fundamental. The other thing, that's when I go to my chart. You need to have your own time when you wake up, but don't wake up before London session. I mean, after London session, you need to wake up before London session. So, so that you can actually, during London session, you need to be having an entry point. Trust me, you need to be having an entry point. So, cnbc news app then after you go to your chart let's say chart here so that you can understand remember a technical trader and a fundamental trader so you trade both the other thing that you have to do you're going to create your highest point let's say you already created your highest point tuesday to friday you don't need to i i create my things on saturday and sunday understand but these things have to be there you can do a proof check. Do I have highest point? Yes. And lowest point. So this is actually a checklist. Things which you have to have during that process. Before you can start any trade, don't execute. Don't do anything. You have your highest point. Now you create your major trend from a higher time frame. So already you have uh, your major trend. Obviously, you'll be adding your 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 minor trend inside, and then now we go to point five. Already you have the structure of the market. Okay, now you have the structure of the market. 
you create before you can create all the support and resistance you need to be having a simple thing that i called uh double oh. bottom mm -hmm. Okay, number seven. Double bottom. So obviously, that's when you add your support. where you're going to enter so this is my trading checklist actually this one let me not say it's my trading plan then say it's my trading check list so these are the things that i have to be having before i can start trading everything so once i have everything now i'm gonna have a trading plan Okay, so a trading plan is a simple thing. So those ones were my checking list. So my trading plan will be what time am I going to trade? And what is it that am I going to be looking at? Those will be my trading plan. So checklist is inside a trading plan as well. But I want you to be focused most as things that you have to be seeing before you can execute any trade fundamentally or technically. They're mixed up there. So the other thing about a trading plan, we're gonna go fundamentally and technically so that you can know that here you'll be trading both of them. It's either you're gonna be trading fundamentally or technically. So it will be you there choosing, are you trading a fundamental or you're gonna be trading technical. So I'm going to send a video how to use uh, investing in order for you to see three balls. I'm going to do that after the session. So here. Let me not put a big space. because we're gonna need it. So here we're gonna say fundamental. So here I'm gonna tell you fundamentals that happens every day. On investing, you're gonna be seeing fundamentals that happens sometimes. sometimes. And then here it's two. Here's technical. Okay, this person, can you please see something? Can you mute yourself? Uh, just there. Thanks. Okay, it's fine. So technical. So here it's going to be actually the trading tire. Understand? In the player. So what time are you going to trade? So London session opens at 8. You're going to be trading London session. This side is going to be your type. This side it's going to be a tie. I think no no one ever told you to trade at, at the certain time, but this side you'll learn how to make time to make trading simple when you trade at the certain time because you can't just keep on looking at the market. You have other things to do in your life. 
our life don't involve only on the market. There's a lot of things that we have to do. So here they said, I'm going to write a chart. So the first thing first is that at eight, that's when we start working. Fundamentally, you enter German age. So you remember if it's fundamental, you need to have a quick target and you need to risk. Don't play no games here. If you play games, you'll not make money and you might lose your money because you have a long target. Technically, you trade US 30 and NASDAQ. More preferable one, US 30. And then other thing, any pair, any currency that pairs Any pairs that pairs with GBP and JPY, they move, guys. They move and they move with proper pro. They can give you proper profit. You know, don't don't think they don't move. They will move as well. So any currencies that pairs with GBP, JPY, and whatever direction that they take, they will continue taking the direction. So, uh, let me remember something about this London session thing. Okay. Maybe London session this time it's around nine. Mm, yeah, it's around nine. So remember, these things can move, guys. Can move. It's around nine now. London session it's around nine. So we can say around nine have this uh certain entries on you. So ten. So the time have been added with one hour. But the half past three news haven't changed, but they're going to change to half past, half past four soon. I don't know when. Keep in mind, don't expect them sometimes. Sometimes they won't move at a certain time because they will be changed. Remember, here it's fundamental like it. It's German 30. Extremely risky, and it pays as well. And it pays most. So now you know the time 10, it will be you fighting this one, German 30. So this time, guys, they change. Don't, don't. Uh, maybe next day around May, March, they're going to go back to their normal time. So it's always 8 and 9. So now it's 9 and 10. Understand? So I don't want you to, to be confused because this time changes. So I teach you based on the current market, what I see and what I'm learning through the market. So remember, your technical is there, then you're going to have another news around half past three. If next week they're going to change to half past four, you're going to see the market not moving, but you'll get posted. You know that you'll be posted from the market. I'll post you guys in the, in the group if they change. And then it's half past three because even today we moved at half past three. And then here, fundamentally, you trade US 30. You can hold the trade from... The, from morning for US 30 and NASDAQ until this time and don't exit, it will still take your direction, technically. And NASDAQ. So you trade the whole day. You see, there's a lot of opportunities. There's no thing called one opportunity in a day. There's a lot of, here I'm talking about momentum. Around four. Actually, every time after fundamental, trade currencies as well. This one will be around four. No fundamental issues here, technically. Will be the same thing that was written at the top. German 30, 
I mean, uh, let me write it clearly. US 30 and German 30. And NAS 100, I mean. And then the other thing. Pairs. All. You know why? Because there's no more fundamentals unless if there's FOMC after because during new accession i mean around new accession this will be happening so this are it's what you can be trading you understand technically so these are the right time which you need to be expecting a high momentum of trading like frequently momentum and proper entries without no losses because sometimes the time matters the time matters as well so about US 30 and NAS 100, the thing that we're going to be dealing most on what we have learned the most is this one now. So we're going to be talking about the Golden Fundamental Strategy. So guys, remember that the things that makes a good trader, it's a basic. Without basics, you can never be a good trader. You guys are not good because you don't have basics. Once you guys start having basics, you will see you're gonna be an you're gonna be a good trader that you never believe that you can be if you take your time and understand the market. Don't just jump into the chart. There's a lot of the theories which you guys skip. Fundamental, it's all about ways. There's no thing called something that can give you direction. It's all about weight. What is it that you're going to read? That's fundamental. So people will lie to you because you don't know. Go search what is fundamental, they're going to tell you. So here you use, it's either you're going to use CNB, uh, investing or CNBC. So for myself, you're going to be using both of them. Investing, I'll show you how to get the invest, invent and everything. But here we want to talk about the golden fundamental strategy. Here you're going to be using CNBC news app there's the first thing first that you'll be using secondly at what time simple you're gonna be using it at uh 1580 Number three, what time are you going to enter? after the notification oh. so now most of you can be confused that how are you gonna enter after the notification so the notification actually won't come up and say buy sell blah 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 right it will give you so uh, it will come to you it will give you a hint which will allow you to say now i'm buying or selling I hope most of you understand what I'm talking about. So you, okay, let me check if I did send the, the Okay, you will enter it, you will enter it, 1531. So number four, it's, it's the hint of the notifications. So you just download CNBC app, the notification will pop up at the top. So what I want you to understand is that you don't set anything, the notification will pop up automatically. Will pop up automatically. So 
First thing first, we have three rules. On five point, I'll say rule number one. Guys, this strategy is the most strategic that I use. Half past three. So this just a theory, this just a rule. What about the heat? How, how will they say, how will they talk about, uh, what is this, s and 500? It's simple. They will say s and 500 falls As tech was Ray, let's say Ray. So what I want you to understand here is that the, the first thing first that you have to focus on is that the message is it on the positive side or in the negative side. So the reason I say you need to focus most on, on SNP 500 is that when the message pops out, you can't be reading reading the whole message. No, you're gonna be you're gonna enter late and then you're gonna blow your account. You need to enter immediately once they give you direction. Here you'll sell Nasdaq. Why? Because they say S and PX five hundred falls. Most of us have already realized that S and PX five hundred and Nasdaq they take the same direction, so they can never come to you and say Nasdaq falls, but they can give you a clue that will allow you to participate on NASDAQ. So the other point, they can say S&P X 500. Let's say new highs. So, Okay, I'm going to remove this one. So here you're going to do what you're going to. Buy Nasdaq. So this is the second part. So rule number. Two. Simple rule, it's just a title. So if they were to say Nasdaq rebound from from the if they were to say Nasdaq rebound from the worst sell-off. So it means we had a worst sell-off. We were falling hard. And I see messages there. You understand? It's falling hard. So uh, you need to understand that if it were the market was falling hard, guys, a uh, half past rate, it's, it's New York. It's uh, US opening. Understand, so this one it's our South African time S A S S T. It's fine. So now we're seeing what uh, West sell off. We know that during the process, the market was selling off, so now it's doing what it's rebounding. They can't say buy, but it rebounds, we're bouncing back. Buy Nasdaq. So here, they can say Nasdaq
They can never say for. So I want you to understand if they say something have reached, it's time for it to do what? Reverse. We have reached our destination. Cell so Nasdaq. So rule number three, most of the students say is, is the confusing one, but I feel like it's paying one. So the more something is pay, it, 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 it's confusing, it means that it, it want to pay you. So rule number three, We can't say it's a simple rule. So rule number three says, uh, So if they start by saying, so at last it has to be a company. So at last it has to be a company. So remember, NASA Android has hundreds of companies, so they can mention either of the company, but it's either it's negative or positive. So the message can, can come and say, Most of you, if you have seen BC app, you already seen these messages, but you didn't know how to use them. Let's say they say to rise to hundred point as well made lose gain due to the tech. Simple. If you don't understand the notification, don't enter in a trade. I'll show you how to put proper companies into the wish list. Those are your first confirmation. If most of them are positive and then the other one is negative, then you say we're gonna buy. But you're not going to buy based on that, the notification. Because the market can fall, the notification will make the market to come back. So tech lose, already we go to the last point, it's a company. Here we sell NASDAQ. So actually it's all about the positive and the negative thing. The negative, the positive. So if you can understand that, then you understand the market fundamentally. So we done with fundamental, now we're going to pure price action. Understand? So the advantage, of having a plan is that it can save a lot of time it takes all emotion out okay thanks god we finished this time on the this session on the right time then we're gonna actually have to exit and then we're gonna edge you guys again okay.